my name is Ryan Holmes and I'm a survivor of the biggest pandemic to hit mankind. It's been three months since the outbreak, since the world went to shit. I've been surviving out here, away from the people, away from the infected. It's, it's not easy, it's cold, there's barely any food, but I do what I have to do. My days seem to drag on, trying to hunt, making fires, collecting water. in the forests. I rest when I can, gather up my energy. I never know when I might need it. No one ever told me how knackering the apocalypse could be. Now it's tough. I've got more chance of finding a cure of the infection than getting a fire started in this place. Better luck next time. This is home. It's not Hilton, but it does the job. When I'm not gathering supplies, this is where I am. It's as safe as you get these days. I'm located five miles from the nearest town, surrounded by forest and countryside. Few people come through here, and even less infected. I'm running dangerously low on food, and I'm down to one thing. You guessed it. Bourbon biscuits. I used to love these things. Now I can't fucking stand them. Stray infected. They wander away from the town sometimes, but it's uncommon. It's no threat to me though, I'm not worried. If the dehydration doesn't get it, the cold will. Come sunrise, it'll be dead. I can't wait any longer, I have no choice. I need supplies. I'm heading into the nearest town, and I'm not looking forward to it. These places are death traps. They're controlled by the military who execute anyone on site, and overrun with the infected. Searching houses takes time. It involves pulling down on handles until you find the right one. Sure, I could smash the glass, but that would draw too much attention. Fresh food. Maybe whoever made this is around to cook me some.
Where am I? Same place you were when you passed out. You thirsty? It's okay. Thank you. How did I get here? You were attacked by a rabbit. You hit your head. You managed to hang on for a minute, but you were gone pretty quick. Did you kill it? Yeah. You saved me. Why? You remember when people question why you didn't help, and not the other way round? Honestly, I'm starting to forget it. Well, I'm not. Is it just you? Yeah, I'm heading north soon though, after the winter's over. Someone's there waiting for me. Family? Someone I haven't seen in a very long time. What about you? Last family member I saw was my mum. That was the night of the outbreak. I can still see her face. Infected? It's the first time I've seen it up close. I'd heard about it on the news for months, but... It's this new strain of rabies that mixed with the flu. What the fucking chances? We ignored it like we do everything. Until it was on our doorsteps. By then it was too late. Apparently they're trying to make a new vaccine. Do you think that they will? Every day they're out there, collecting samples, researching the virus. And I don't think they even understand what this thing is yet. Over three billion are dead, at least. This time next year we'll be on the endangered species list. This isn't something we fix. Not this time. Oh well. I never really liked mankind anyway. I've got to say, I'm not much of a fan either. What's your name? Beth. Well, Beth, I'm Ryan. And thank you. Really. You should probably stay here tonight. You don't have a chance out there on your own in the dark. Is this your house? I like to keep on the move. Nowhere for more than a few days. I was lucky to find this one, though. Still has electricity. I heard some houses still did. It's nice to see it for myself. I think I'd take you up on that offer. You must be hungry then. Seriously, that's your survival secret. Bourbon fucking biscuits. I never want to see another one for the rest of my life. It's so nice to have food like this now though. I feel like I could get a real good night's sleep here. I'm pretty tired now you mention it. Yeah, might treat myself to a little line in the morning. Where are you heading next? Back to the forest I suppose. Safer at least. It's getting a bit warmer. Are you heading north soon? Maybe in a month or so. I need a lot of supplies for the journey though. I need it to be warmer as well. I don't know where to go next to be honest. I don't know how long I can go on for. Come north with me. <laughs> you want me to come north with you? You don't have to go on like this. Just sleep on it, okay? Okay. Thank you. Again.
A military research tank. I read houses looking for fresh samples. I found Beth, she's dead. might be my only chance. The whole house will be over on within seconds and the sound will draw more. I'm running again. Just from something different this time. She saved me and I couldn't do the same for her. So once again, I'm alone. I see the first signs of spring, but I feel no warmth. I see fresh water running, but I can't quench my thirst. Because I know what comes next will be something far worse, full of more danger, more hatred than anything I've ever seen before. This wasn't a suicide, this wasn't the military, and this certainly wasn't the affected. Stripped, beaten, and hanged for whoever passes by to see. This is new evil. <laughs>